conclude that the gas confined to a smaller container will exert much greater pressure on the container walls compared to a gas confined to a larger container. But how can we get our students to understand that they can predict this behavior of gases? Let's see how we can visualize this concept with the lab disk. All it takes is three simple steps. We will first select the air pressure sensor from the sensor list. Then select recording in manual sampling rate. And take 10 samples. Now I will call my dear friend Ido. We will set the syringe on a 60 milliliter volume of air. Then we will move it to 50, 40, 30, and at each position we will take a sample of the air pressure. Ido, please press the select button to start recording. And press the scroll button to take the first sample. Now I will change the volume to 50 milliliter. And we take another sample. 40 milliliter, we take one more sample. And 30, it's really hard, we will take the final sample. That's it. We have four samples of air pressure in different volumes. In the Global Lab software, we got four bars representing different air pressures in different volumes. We can first annotate each bar. All we need to do is click the annotation icon, go to the first bar, and write 60 milliliter. The second bar represents air pressure measured at a syringe with a volume of 50 milliliter. So we will write 50 milliliter. We can also add an image of our syringe taken by a digital camera and place it on the graph. But that's not all. We can export data to Excel. And in Excel, we can add the volume and then calculate the air pressure multiplied by the volume and show that this is a constant, exactly like Robert Boyle predicted. Boyle's famous law claims that the multiplication of air pressure by volume is a constant. Let's prove it. We will add another column where we multiply the different air pressure by different volumes. Wow, here you go, we got the same results. Another complicated concept becomes easy. Ido, so now you understand what air pressure is?